flash. So you open up flash and you're going to get a window like this and just pick action script 3.0 and you get a window that comes up that looks like this and so let's just go through the, the basics here. So this window is your workspace. Uh, only what's in the white here will be what people see when you export. So if you draw over here, people aren't, they're not gonna see it. Doesn't mean you shouldn't draw something over here because you might have a person over here and they might walk in. It just means they nobody will see them until they reach this point. Over here are your tools. Some of the tools, you know, selection tool, transform tool, uh, text, line, shape tool. And if you notice in the corner here, there's a little triangle. Anything that has a triangle, if you left click and hold, there's more tools in there. So different shapes or different things. Um, a lot of these are similar to Photoshop. Pencil, brush tool. We'll be using brush tool quite often bone tools, so some of these are a little more advanced. Paint bucket is similar to paint, where you, it's to fill in a zone for the, with a color. The eraser, pretty obvious, and this is where you pick your colors. Other things, if you pick a brush, sometimes things will pop up down here, so you can change your brush size, or you can change the brush shape. And different tools will have different things that'll pop up. Down here are your layers. Um, add new layer is right here, this little folded paper thing. Here's your timeline. These are not seconds, these are frames. And over here is your library, and that's where your symbols will show up. And then up here is to zoom in, zoom out. I'm just going to zoom out for a second. So what, where we're going to start is we're actually going to start um, with a new window and we're going to find the practice assignment. So on for my students it's under flash animation and assignment number one practice assignment and this PDF will show up. So we've already done the first bit here where we open the flash animation file and then it says save as flash practice. So we'll go back here and we'll go file, save as, and we'll name it flash practice dot FLA. That should be there. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. You save it into your multimedia folder or whatever you have created and save. Next step, it says identify layers, timeline, toolbox. I just did that. Tools, timeline, workspace and symbols will be over there. Then it says set your rulers. So you go to view rulers and these rulers will pop up and you're just surrounding your box. One on the top, one on the bottom, one on the right, one on the left. The reason why you're doing that is because if you start filling in colors here if you don't have rulers, then you're going to cover up the white and the gray with some other color, and you won't be able to see where your frame actually is. Then it says add five layers. For us, we're just going to go grass, sky, clouds, tree, ball for now. So we'll go over here, add one, two, three, four, get to five layers. So we'll name this one sky, double click, double click, name it grass. Double click, name this one clouds, double click, this one's tree, and double click, this one's ball. So within your layers here, just remember that whatever's at the top is the thing that's the most in front, the thing that's the closest to you. And I'll show that once we've drawn a few things in here. So we've done that. Now phase two, drawing objects. So we're going to draw our grass, our sky, our clouds. It says it must go beyond the frame. They're different layers. The clouds on another layer, and then we're going to convert them to symbols. So if I go here, I'm going to click on my sky layer, and all I'm drawing on that layer is just the sky. So 
I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to pick a blue color, and I'm going to make a big glob because the sky is the background and everything will be in front of it. It doesn't even matter really the shape or anything. And I'm going to take my paint bucket and I'm going to fill that up. So there's my sky. So you notice the white is gone. You can't see gray or white now. It's just a big blue blob. So we're going to go grass now, grass layer. I'm going to pick a green, go back to my brush, and I'm just going to draw some grass. Again, so now I'm going to leave a little gap here just to show you something. So I didn't close out my grass, and then when I go to fill it, I won't be able to fill it. If you ever can't fill something, it's because you haven't completed the whole circuit. So you got to go back and fill in that gap. So now we can go in and fill it up. So if we look at what people would be seeing right now, we'd see the reason why this doesn't matter is because all people are seeing is this blue sky in here and this kind of little mountain of grass right there. That's all they'd see. We can move this around after if people are walking over here, maybe there's a tree or something over here that they got to get to. Then we'll move the background around a little bit, but for right now, that's all they're going to see. Okay, then we go to the clouds. Let's do this pretty quick. Just make a couple clouds. Don't worry. Well, I don't know what that kind of cloud was. You know, don't make, don't worry about how perfect they are. It doesn't really matter. And then we'll fill those three up. Then we go to our tree. Get a brown. Now over here it says a tree on the right side of your workspace has its own layer and then convert to symbol. So we're going to convert them all to symbol once I get them all in. So somewhere on the right here, fill that in. Boom. Change your color. Get a different color of green than you had before. Lighter, darker, doesn't matter. And then fill that in. And then we'll draw our ball. So you could go here and left click and hold and get an oval tool. But I'm just going to stick with this. And I'm going to draw a ball. And since I like basketball, I'm going to get some sort of orange and I'm going to fill that in. Then I'm going to go back to my brush and go back to black and I'm going to, you know, add some detail to it so it kind of looks a little bit better. Okay, so now I said convert to symbol. The reason why is because if you go to your selection tool and you're going to move something later because you want it animated, you might select on something and then this happens and you're like, what did I just do? If that happens, it's because you didn't convert it to a symbol. So edit, undo. So we're going to go one at a time. So I'm going to click on the sky. And you'll notice these little red dots appear. And then you just go modify, convert to symbol. Make sure it's a graphic and just name it the exact same that you had it before. And then it appears over here and in your library. So there's a preview of what the sky layer is. So if you had a tree, in your sky layer, then you'd know, whoops, I drew my tree on my sky layer. And then there's your little sky icon that you can use later. Then we click on our grass, the little red dots show up, modify, convert to symbol, name it grass. Okay, and then grass goes over, you check it, yep, that's just my grass. If you clicked on clouds, for example, and the, the dots all show up, if there's dots also on your ball, that means you've drawn your ball on your clouds layer. So we clicked on clouds, only dots on clouds. Okay, that's good. Modify, convert to symbol. Name it clouds. Okay. Click on tree, only dots on the tree. Good. Modify, convert to symbol. Name it tree. Again, they're all appearing over here. Click on the ball. Modify, convert to symbol. Name it ball. And now you notice the, a blue box appears around it. So if I have that same selection tool and I go to, now I can actually move the ball as one ball. So it makes it way easier to deal with later on. Now, let's say for your tree, you're like, oh man, I want to add an apple in my tree or something. Or maybe you want to add blades of grass in your grass. Let's do that one. So you click on grass and then you go to draw on it. 
you're drawing something, I don't know what this is, I'm drawing, but then bam, it's just gone. It's because you've converted it to a symbol now. You can't change it here, but you can change it here. So I would double, I would go to my graphs layer, double click. The dots reappear here, so you want to go to your selection tool and click away from it. And then you probably want to zoom out a little bit so you can see more. And then you probably want to select a different color of green, go back to your brush, and then you just start adding, you know, blades of grass as you go. That's good. Doesn't really matter. But then obviously take time to make yours better. And then you might want to add even different colors because it looks better if there's multiple colors. It looks a little bit more natural once you get a whole bunch in there. And then you're like, okay, so now where's the rest of it again? Well, even within here, you can add more layers, but don't worry about that. We just gotta click this blue arrow, boom, and then we're back, and then our symbol has changed, so it's changed in our workspace as well. Okay, um, and then, so let's say you, were, you wanted to draw on this cloud back here, you wanted to do something back there, but the tree's in the way. Well, that's where these things come into play. If you click on the, what I usually do, once I've drawn everything, I'll click on this, the eyeball up here to get rid of everything. And then I'll check one layer at a time. I'll go, yep, that's my sky. Yep, there's my grass. Yep, there's my clouds. Yep, there's my tree. And yep, there's my ball. And then I'll go a little bit back. Let's say I was drawing something in the sky. I didn't want to draw on the clouds or the tree, the ball. I, I wanted to get just in there. But I still wanted to see where the clouds were. That's where these ones come into play. So you can see all the outlines of everything. So if I wanted to keep that, I, the sky, I wanted to draw on that. I still want to know where the tree is maybe and the ball. So I click on those so I can see, but then I can still do stuff on the sky. And then the lock button. So if this comes up, auto, recovery, save, yes. Uh, the lock button, that's, let's say I've added a new layer and I'm starting to draw on that layer, but I, I have so many layers I've added that I don't want to mess with another layer. I'm done with it, but I don't, don't want to convert to a symbol yet, maybe. Um, so you, you lock it so that you're only drawing on the sky layer. So even if you accidentally click on the clouds layer and you go to draw on it, you can't. You see that look, beside my dot there, you can see like a little like no smoking like cross through sign. I can't even do anything. And then if you click, it'll say the current layer is locked or hidden, so you can't do anything. Would you like to unlock it in this case? No, I'm just gonna unlock them all over there. Um, so there's my layers there. That's basic drawing of everything. We've seen how once it's drawn, you can alter it by going to your uh, symbols over here and double clicking. And then one last thing, let's say you rename, you name these wrong and you're, you're looking at things and you're going, okay, well, why can't I see my ball? Well, remember, the whatever's the lowest here, that's the furthest into the background. So my tree right now is my furthest thing into the foreground. And I wanted it that way so the clouds look like they're going behind. See, the clouds are behind my tree, but they're in front of my sky. And then I want the ball to be the most in front, or maybe I still want it behind my tree. Because then maybe later when it bounces, it might bounce behind my tree. But if you can have it bounce in front of your tree as well, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, anything else important here at the moment? Uh, in this file, I skipped three here. Draw, stick man, and then all of its pieces. I'm gonna do that because later because we have phase three is basic movements and we're just going to make the ball bounce and then this takes a while to learn and then we'll make the stick we'll draw the stick man and move the stick man together in a whole separate thing because it's two three four five there's a lot of movements all the last movements are with the stick man so we'll take care of basic movements with the ball bounce and squish and our clouds moving all the basic movements are number one here We'll do those um, as a separate thing from the stick man walking. All right, so then last final thing, if you're done for the day, if this is all you're doing for this class, 
then make sure, make sure you still go file and save. You don't have to save as, because remember at the start, we already saved as flash practice. And then we are done for the day, so we can close that out. And I'll close the instructions out. And then there's my file, make sure it's there. And that's what you'd open up next time. All right, later.